finally the, the, the film found its home at Castle Rock. Is, is there a difference in the way a company like Castle Rock as a sort of mini major works? They seem to, I mean, you're going to shout me down, oh. you respect the director far more than regard him as part of the mix that some of the majors do. Well, yes, I think, <coughs> you see, Castle Rock is it, a small company, and therefore they can't compete directly with the majors. They can't go for those, um, those uh, you know, the big summer pictures. And there's the, uh, so they, they, they have to carve out a kind of area uh, which is a bit different from the way the majors are, are functioning. And they're good people. I mean, they're, you know, it's really founded, that company was founded by Rob Reiner, who was disgusted with working for the majors. <coughs> so he, he decided to start a company that he would, he would like to work for as a director. <coughs> and so they have, it's a great respect for directors. And it, uh, the majors today, I mean, much of the power that directors that we used to have in the 70s, uh, 60s, 70s, uh, has been taken back by the studios uh, and by particularly by the marketing men. Today, it's, you see, I think that what happened is that we used to make the films that we liked, and the studio executives made the films that directors sort of wanted to make, and then and the marketing people then found out what people actually wanted, and now they make the films that people, the audiences, uh, want, and. And it's a horrible shock to discover what they do want. It's a long way from the pictures that we want to make. So that gulf has grown up now. <coughs> and, um, and it's somewhat kind of unbridgeable. So that there are these pockets, people like Castle Rock and a few others, uh, where, who, are try who are making pictures um, that uh, are um, much more interesting to us and maybe not as interesting to the audience. <laughs>